Forgnish Gaming. Hello and welcome to Forgnish Gaming. Bah, I'm the dude that plays the games. Uh, today, you know, we're going to go ahead and celebrate the our 100 subscriber people. 108ish, I think. Yeah, sorry, it's been it's been a few minutes. Um, but actually, I want to do um, I want to talk about a couple things. Uh, one. Got a new got a new laptop that we're gonna go over in this video, and I also wanted to talk about this little um, little I fix it box thing that I just ordered off Amazon for like twenty or thirty dollars. It's like one of the essential um, electronics toolkits. It just comes with like a little bit of everything. In here, you got a little divider and tweezers and a little screwdriver little thing to pop off the screen, the little toothpicks, and a little divider, metal divider to help crack open the laptop, which is, I'll go into more detail what I did with this one here. Um, it even comes with the little, uh, the Nintendo Switch screw, like the weird little triangle one. It's, it's this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Anyways, I just, and you know, and it comes with this neat little tray to organize stuff, and it's magnetic too. That's something I didn't quite... Um, I wasn't quite expecting. It's like a nice magnetic case, and it's, you know, it ain't, all the stuff inside's probably going to jiggle around, but nice case, uh, you know, 20, 30 bucks, a little iFixit essential, I just dropped it in the floor, like I did the my other, um, microphone that is now messed up because of that. Uh, anyway, so that's just a nice little kit to have to open up uh, laptops and different kind of computer components like cell phones, things like that. So, yeah, you know, I fix it. There you go. 20, 30 bucks. I recommend it. Um, not sponsored by them, though. They're too big for me. <laughs> but um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and switch over and I'm going to take you over to the laptop. Yeah. Alrighty. And we are back. Um. This here is the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro from uh, 2021. This isn't the newest one. This is the one that was actually on sale for Black Friday from Walmart for about $1,100. Um, I think this was a pretty pretty good um, good little buy, you know, just, just being honest. Um, we're sitting at a Ryzen 7 5800H, which is an... 8 core and 16 thread processor and so basically this is like the downgraded version of what I'm running in my desktop computer right now um, uh, this laptop here also is sporting an RTX 3070 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM on it yeah it's it's packing a little punch let me tell you um, now I've had this laptop for a few weeks now and I have and I will be a hundred percent honest with you all it can almost keep up with my desktop computer with some things uh, as far as gaming goes I plugged it up to a 4k TV um, we're hitting almost 60 FPS on almost ma almost maxed out settings with Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 uh, on 4k so I, you know, like I said, I got it hooked up with the TV and everything and got it, got it working brilliantly. Getting almost, almost 60 FPS. Like I said, and it was almost tapped out too. The only thing that capped it out was the, uh, the VRAM on the graphics card, which is the same issue I had with my desktop computer as well. But we'll get into that later. Um, originally this laptop came with 16 gigabytes of DDR4. RAM, the older RAM, at uh, 3200 megahertz. So it came with uh, two 8 gigabyte sticks. You can, it's really easy. Just flip it over, pop open the bottom with that nice little iFixit kit that I was telling you about. It's worth it because um, it, it's helped me out a lot. So that way I don't damage the computer. Uh, but anyways, so I ended. Uh, a lot of reviews said that the uh, that the RAM in this laptop was a little funky, like something was off about it, making it run slower than normal. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I just swapped it. Like as soon as soon as I got the laptop, I was like, let's go ahead, and let's throw 32 gigabytes of RAM in there. You know, I mean, let's let's make it as optimal as possible to kind of match my desktop computer. 
Um, and that was a good choice. Uh, the other thing that I ended up doing as soon as I got it, like before, like it came in the box and I just opened it up and I was like, 32 gigabytes RAM done. Okay, great. Um, so then I had to wait a few more days. The other, the other big thing was this laptop only comes with 500 gigabytes of storage space. And that's not a lot. I mean, it's really not. You can't like I. I have I have problems with just one terabyte, um, because that's that's not enough. Not for modern gaming, streaming, any of that stuff. I mean, it just takes up every bit of it. Um, so what I ended up doing was I went ahead and I threw a one terabyte M.2 SSD in there. So now I'm sporting two because it does. It comes with one 500 gig. So now I've got two M.2 SSDs. Uh, one of them at 500 gigs and the other one at one terabyte. So that gave me more storage for, like, OBS, gave me more storage for videos, gave me more storage for games, gave me more storage for anything, anything that I wanted. So anyways, uh, here, you know, like I said, I had, it's got the Ryzen 7 5800, uh, 3.2 gigahertz speed, the new improved 32 gigabytes of RAM that I had installed, um, it does have Radeon graphics in it, but eh, you got a 3070 sport it. Um, it does come with Windows 11 Home. And let's see. Made by Lenovo, because this is a uh, Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. And look at this nice little keyboard. That's the only RGB part about it. I'm starting to kind of lean away from RGB. Um, I kind of... I. I put quite a bit of RGB into my desktop computer, and now I'm kind of like, do I really need the RGB? Does it really make it go fast? But anyways, so that's that's just me, my personal personal thing. Here I went ahead and I installed that second SSD. I just named it SSD2 because it made life simple. Um, you do have to do, uh, whenever you do install that, you do need to go, uh, you need to right click on your start button and go to disk management and your and whenever you install it you'll have to optimize your second one your second SSD so that way it'll work um, but other than that works great RAM let's just plug and play good to go those are the two upgrades that I did already the only thing that I could recommend is uh, potentially swapping over your windows and everything into the new one terabyte ssd that you just put in and then replace the 500 gig one with another one terabyte or a two terabyte you yeah, just whatever you can afford like i said i got this laptop for eleven hundred dollars and it it does really well to keep up with my desktop computer which is a big shocker because i didn't i didn't expect that um the screen the resolution on the screen it's not quite, I mean, it's a little bit above 1440p. I um, can't remember exactly the dimensions. Yeah, it's, it's a 2560 by 1600. So this is actually, instead of a, uh, shoot, it's not a 16 by 9, it's a 16 by 10. So it's just slightly taller screen. So it's a 16 inch monitor. To go with this bad boy, and it's sporting. I think it was 144 hertz. Oh, 160, 165 hertz on this monitor. Okay. Um, it does have a HDR on it as well, so that's that's not bad. You can't complain about that one bit. And that's that's just the that's the display that it comes with. I remember. Uh, just a few years back, you know, talking up my old, um, talking up my old uh, HP Pavilion gaming laptop, which I I still have and still use for certain things. It's lasted me a good four to five years on a i5 8300H and a GTX 1050 Ti. Um, now I did, what I ended up doing now was the RAM that I had in it was uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, but they were it was uh, 2666 memory, and the memory that came in this laptop was 3200, so I was like, hmm, 
Hmm. So I ended up taking the RAM from this and putting it in that and upgraded it a little bit more with just the scrap stuff that I wasn't using in this one anymore. So always kind of refresh your stuff. Um, makes everything work great. Would I recommend this laptop? Yes. Yes, I definitely would. Um, but for the normal price of like $16, $18, even $2,000... Yeah, that's a that's a lot of money. You know, that really is a lot of money. I paid $1,100 for it on Black Friday. So you know what i done with the extra money that um, I could have spent on a new one, like the newer version, which came out this year in 2022. Could have had a better processor, but for also that premium price point. I'm looking at price to performance. This was a hugely great deal, and I can take this with me on the go, take it with me to work, take it with me anywhere. Like, I can go to my uh, nephew's house, I can go to friends' houses, I could go anywhere with this thing. And I mean, it, it's just a monster on wheels. Um, one thing I do have to note, I can't reach it right now because I have it down here in the corner, but uh, the power brick on this thing is like, it's like every bit of this big. 300 watt power supply it's like half the size of the laptop itself so that might be a con for some people but for me i'm like i'm plugging it up um so it don't matter a uh, couple things that i did get um i've got the i've got my old uh wireless uh razor mamba that is that i currently using wired to recharge it right now i do have that mouse plugged up um and i did go ahead and get a new um little uh laptop cooling pad i feel like for 15 20 bucks to keep your pc like maybe five to ten degrees colder yeah that's a that's that's a big difference in some stuff um so i would i'd recommend one of those maybe not necessarily this one because it's identical to the old uh tree newbie one that i have with my hp pavilion um but for the most part it helps it helps out a lot um so yeah like I said, Legion Le oh god. <laughs> the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Four names all in one title. I'd recommend it if you can get it cheap enough. Um personally, I wouldn't pay 18 2000 dollars for it, no, cuz I'm cheap. I don't like to spend full price on anything. If I can get it on sale, great. The cooling pad, I got it on sale. I think it's normally 20 bucks and I got it for like 10 or 15. Yeah. All about saving that money the best I can. Now, you could counter that with, well, you just spent $1,100 on a laptop when you have a perfectly good desktop computer right here. Well, yeah. But I can't take the desktop computer everywhere with me. But I can take this with me. Or I could take my old laptop. Nothing wrong with my old laptop. It just, it's not quite up to snuff like with my desktop computer. Or the the it's the 60 FPS that I'm limited to. Now I have 165 max, and I can adjust settings to get to, I can hit that number. Anyways, um, so yeah, congratulations on the hundred subs. I'd like to thank everyone for uh, subscribing to me. Um, if you like this video, hit a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment. I love getting in touch with everyone. Um, like I said, I hope that this was kind of informative. I didn't, I'm not breaking down the computer again because it, it just takes a lot of time. Um, it's got like several screws on the bottom. There's plenty of videos out there on the internet to kind of like walk you through it. Like I said, get you a nice little kit, like, <sighs> get you a little iFixit kit or something. All the little toothpicks keep falling out. If I can make a suggestion. Don't don't take all the toothpicks. Just take a couple. You know, you don't need that many. Yeah, nice little kit. It helped me open this up. And, I mean, I plan on using it in the future. If friends need help with their computers, I have a nice little to-go kit. But anyways, I'd like to thank you all again. And hopefully we'll keep making more videos. Um, we'll keep at it. You keep watching, I'll keep making them. We, this, this is a teamwork thing. Alright guys, take care.